Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The drones are changing the course of modern era warfare. They are not just meant for long range surveillance but can also carry out precision strikes from standoff distances or kamikaze operations. They are not only cheap but also enhance the surveillance capabilities especially in hostile areas and difficult terrains where human movement could be challenging. As we all know, the standoff with China is ongoing at LSE with recent disengagement at Gogra post. However, we all know that Chinese cannot be trusted and India needs to be more vigilant. The army needs good number of UAV to enhance their ISR capabilities in this region. If we look at the present scenario, India lag behind China in terms of drone capability as well as in numbers. However, India is steadily working towards enhancing its capability and in near future, we would see good number of armed drones best in class operated by our armed forces. In today's video, we'll discuss in detail about all the drones operated or going to be operated by our tri-services. Searcher drones. The searcher was first deployed in 1992 and later searcher mk2 was introduced in 1998 that india has procured after 2000 it is a multi-mission tactical uav which is 5.85 meter long with a wingspan of 8.55 meters and endurance of up to 18 hours its range is listed as 300 kilometers while altitude capabilities are at 20,000 feet in 2002 the indian air force use of searcher mk2 caught the eye of Pakistani media when Pakistani Air Force reportedly shot down an Indian UAV near Kasur along the line of control. Alongside the Heron UAVs, Indian Navy also uses Searcher MK2. However, currently the biggest user of Searcher is the Indian Army. Heron drones Indian Army and Air Force currently operates 15 and 75 Heron drones respectively. It is a battle-proven unmanned drone primarily used for surveillance. Indian Armed Forces are to upgrade and weaponize these 90 drones under Project Cheetah. Last year, a committee was formed for the cost negotiation. Now, the costing negotiations are almost over and final decision is awaited. Indian Army is soon expecting the delivery of six more Heron 2 drones from Israel, which will be deployed along the line of actual control with China for long surveillance missions. However, the Heron 2 is being leased by India are not weaponized versions. Talking about the capability of Heron drones, it is a medium altitude UAV and can carry up to 250 kg of weight including a thermographic camera, airborne ground surveillance, visible light, radar systems, etc. The Heron UAV is capable of returning to its base automatically in case of lost communication. It has an impressive endurance capability of 52 hours and can fly up to 33,000 feet high in the sky. Swarm Drones Indian Army has also included 75 Swarm Drones and the capability of the same has been demonstrated on 15th of Jan in Army Day Parade. Swarm Drones can be used for surveillance and also bringing in the element of surprise to carry out targeted strikes to assist troops on the ground. These drones are real threat for any advanced air defense system. With a range of 50 kilometers, these drones can make deep inside the border of enemy with the capability to hit targets from a distance of 500 meters. The UAV has a mother drone that has an attached child drone meant to fire and self-destroy after hitting the target. India's goal is of 1000 swan drones with potential to overwhelm air defenses and low cost means they can be deployed in far greater number than existing systems. MQ-9 Drones A $3 billion deal for the purchase of 30 armed drones manufactured by US company General Atomics is soon to be inked if the deal goes through. The Army, Navy and Air Force will get 10 such combat drones. The MQ-9 Reaper, also called Predator Drone, can detect its target using its inbuilt sensors and radars. It has an endurance of more than 27 hours 
and carries payload up to nearly 1700 kg with a range of 6000 nautical miles and flying capacity of up to 50000 feet it can carry deadly hellfire missiles and laser guided bombs making it a potent weapon switch uavs indian army has also signed a deal to procure high altitude drones from idea forge for 20 million dollars the total of 120 uavs are to be provided as a part of the deal and all of these will be inducted by the end of this year uav can be deployed at high altitude and harsh environment for day and night surveillance in intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance missions the uav has an endurance of 120 meters range of 15 km and weigh less than 6.5 kg its maximum launch altitude is 4 km and maximum operating altitude is of 1 km it has a daylight payload of 1000 280 by 720 pixels 25x optical zoom and has a thermal payload capacity of 640 by 480 pixels used during the night operation the main advantage of switch uav or predator or drone drones is its takeoff or landing it doesn't require any airfield for long takeoff or landing it can take off like a helicopter fly like a plane and can land like a helicopter quadcopters The infantry battalion of the army uses multiple varieties of quad captors. These drones are manufactured by Defense Research and Development Organization (DRDO) and also by private firms. These drones are used for tactical surveillance by soldiers during anti-terrorism operations and patrolling for much deeper situation, costing no more than a few thousand rupees. These kind of drones are extensively used by forces. along the LOC and in Jammu and Kashmir Harpy and Haroop Indian Air Force uses two kinds of kamikaze drones Harpy and the upgraded Haroops both procured from Israel The Harpy is an all weather day and night fire and forget autonomous weapon system that is used to take out enemy radars and hence disable their air defense system It can also be used to take out other targets as well This is launched from ground vehicle behind the battle zone it has communication range of 200 km and an endurance of 9 hours precision of less than 1 meter with a 16 kg warhead the haroop is a lottery missile which serves as electro optical guided attack weapon the haroop can be used for taking out number of targets including moving vehicles Now let's look into some of the future technologies. The economically and technologically advanced nations like India can even do better by teaming the unmanned platforms such as UAVs, swarm drones or side drones etc with a manned platform like fighter jets which can stay at a safe distance and act as a mothership controlling the unmanned platform often called loyal wingman. India is currently working on CATS combined air teaming system Rustam 2. infinity drones and ghatak still unmanned air vehicle this was today's update please let us know what is your views about these in comment section feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already we'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector